morning so we are here studio vlog two um the first vlog i think went pretty well i've had some lovely messages it's been very very encouraging and here we are with the next one um we are back on friday it is forest school day again i had a terrific time catching up with everything over the week i had a good roll on some of more some of the earrings I've got to do words today and it's gone well but I am really keen to get ahead on the character development stuff we now have all the outlines for all the creatures I've only got a few outline changes to do and I want to see how much I can catch up on today before the afternoon turns crazy busy but that's okay because I've got my watercolors I've got my outlines ready and I can show you some of the new characters I've been working on and you can come and join along and we are back to doing more creatures some of the feedback I got, particularly on Instagram, everyone is really loving the woodland creatures and that is really cool. Yes, I can be doing some prints of not these characters, but I can do other British wildlife, exotic wildlife, cards, prints, you name it. Can you just tell me what kind of format you would like them on? Whether you want them in Etsy or if you would like them down the line, maybe as, do I say it, Patreon rewards. Uh, we are in a situation where we are looking at our income and this is the work I'm doing and I love what I'm doing but as many artists will attest it doesn't necessarily stretch so I am loving bringing you everything here um, the echoey room aside I'm hoping I can fix that in audio later <laughs> um, but yeah how far would you guys like to support me and what kind of thing would you like to see i would love to hear what you got to say over on instagram which is here or email here and uh or just comment just comment anywho if you like what we're doing do subscribe just be involved patreon or otherwise we love to hear how you feel about the video and uh join in You'll also be pleased to know that the mole claw situation was resolved. Um, we had a lovely chat and we, we've realised what we want, shh, shush you, what we want actually is to really make them articulating in that same way that I was discussing. And sometimes we don't know, we don't know until we see it in an image. So I'm glad I did a variation for her that she could see and she's enjoying it. outline and pencil as I kind of do. I was asked the other day why I um, leave the pencil outlines on underneath. The simple reason being actually is that I quite like it. <laughs> I quite like the pencil -y bit behind it. Sometimes when I'm using inks or pro markers or something like that then I really like outlining and uh, making it very distinct, very solid in its appearance but actually I just really like that kind of slightly vague this was made by a human being, there's no mistake about it, pencil mark around the edges. That just gives it something that flows a little bit easier. By the way, I found an old throw, an old like blankie, and uh, I thought I'd put it down there for Noah for when he wants to sit with me while I paint.
a pretty good colour there now. Um, I mixed a couple of them, I blended them. I like splotching and kind of dabbing with my fingers. And listen, I'm a messy painter. Before I get on and do hair, um, I need to, uh, I had a discussion about his shape just last night. And I've got four images of hair, as you can see here. And his, I d in order to make them more cohesive and a lot of the animals, I kind of keep a certain uniform to keep it all linear all the way through. But as much as hair has got generally a right shape, she has asked for him to have just a bit more length on him and a bit more length on his nose. You're a bit close to mine then. Sorry. A bit more length on his nose. Um, because um, she's quite right. They're very different to bunnies. And I guess I've had, I have drawn bunnies quite a lot in the past but never really hairs so I think I went into bunny mode I made him quite long but not quite long enough um, I put some lovely muscle on him but he's not quite as fluid as a lot of the other characters so um, I'm going to change that up and he's changed his ears on this one slightly and I'm gonna just elongate his nose just subtly and hook it slightly and I'm gonna see where that takes me and then if I am confident, then I am gonna paint. Hopefully, that can do that today and it's not too much tinkering. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I've done some adjustments to hair. Um, I have photographed him, I've sent him through to the author, I'm going to wait and hopefully get some approval. But, I think, while I've got my colours right for him, um, and I'm just waiting to hear from her, I'm going to move on and I'm going to do snake. And I'm going to do a little bit of research into adder patterns and how I can translate that into watercolour. Seriously, the adder in my main book that I've got, I've got several animal reference books that Leo uses for learning. I have actually had them since uh, I was in college um, and uh, she, it's a good old book but I'm not entirely convinced of the actual like colour quality of this photograph. Um, she looks, this adder looks almost bluish. Um, the others are all kind of very similar tones of either greens or dusts and tans and golds. So I'm just going to have a little Google, really. And, frankly, a cup of tea and a Disney mug, well needed. So, got the extra page. Here we go. Just to introduce you to what I'm working on right now, anyway. So there's Ada in his little happy home where he keeps lots of lavender and hops and herbs and things lovely part of the story and then there's Otto he's a funny feller I'm really looking forward to doing Otto um, Otto may be the one I can go straight into now I have messaged her I have heard back about her so that's good and hoping to hear back from Otto now so it's good we're very good at kind of chopping and changing on the live she knows I work mostly on a Friday and um, that is a good old sync up for us. She knows that this is where I am. She's generally available on morning for all those messages. We can crack on. Right, who do we start with? Let's do hair. So I've done some outlines on Molly 
and I'm really happy with those and we actually plan to have some very very delicate little stars and moons that if you can if you look slightly closer you can see them shimmering in its fur and I hope that velvety effect is really coming through I'm not sure um, I'm gonna outline this hair as it happens I haven't done the other two hairs yet ah and I'm running a little bit out of time because I have a meeting in an hour so I'm gonna quickly do this and then I might have time later we'll see what happens my time I have my meeting tonight today and I have to go do that but I've got plenty done and I had a fantastic uh, meeting on Facebook video video Facebook messaging that with the author as well so huge leaps and bounds come along and it's really good hairs uh, the first one of hair is done I'm really happy with how it turned out mole is looking really nice I've nailed that velvety thing going on there it makes me happy author likes it too so unfortunately that's what I've got time for. It's sad. But there you go. I have to fit a lot into my child free time as a home editor and I'm doing all right but I have got a meeting this afternoon I better go get sorted out for that. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I would love for you to subscribe, like, comment, let me know which of the characters coming together is your favourite so far and let me know of course what you're looking forward to seeing out the sketches you've seen already. Uh, sorry I didn't get any earrings done today, but that's life. Um, <laughs> hopefully there'll be more in the very near future. In the meantime, thank you for joining us. I am Sarah, and that is my phone. That's probably a meeting prompt. I better go get ready. See you all soon. Bye-bye.